But people ask me all the time, what's the number one thing you learned in SEAL training? Often this is like a 16 to 18 year old young man that wants to learn how to turn a spoon into a deadly weapon, which I can actually talk to in great detail, but it's not the number one thing I learned in SEAL training. And this is the number one thing I learned. About a week before I graduated from the basic course of SEALs, SEAL instruction, they give you what's called an FTX, a final training exercise. It's a final exam, right? And you gotta, as a student, you gotta plan the mission, you gotta brief it, get it approved, rehearse it, and then go execute that mission, okay? All under the watchful eye of lunatic SEAL instructors, okay? And as we're planning this, and as we're prepping this mission, we are behind on time. And like I said earlier, everything's based on time. If you say you're gonna hit a target at this hour, you better hit it at that hour, because other units are counting on you to do so. And I remember the class officer, the senior officer, student in the class, but the senior ranking officer, is running around this compound where we're prepping our gear, screaming his head off like the Tasmanian devil. Are the gun trucks ready? We've got to make sure the nav plan's set. Do we have our weapons? Are the, you know, has everybody got what they need? And just losing his mind, right? And the fevered pitch level of everybody's behavior was just unsustainable. Like, you could feel it. And so I remember this Master Chief Petty Officer, I don't know how many people know the ranks in the U.S. military, but a Master Chief Petty Officer is the senior ranking enlisted man in the United States Navy. In basic training, they are gods, okay? This, and this guy was right out of central casting. I mean, big barrel chest, dark tan skin, magnum PI mustache, you know, tattoo of Poseidon right here, and an anchor right there, the original reflective Oakley sunglasses, those Russell football coaching shorts that were a little bit too tight. I mean, just strange looking now. But as I, as I, as I, at the time, it was cool. And I remember he walks out, he's like, all the, all the officers, get over here right now. And we know we're dead. We know we're dead. So the six officers go running over, and as we get to him, he says, take a knee. <laughs> so I remember we take a knee. Before I take a knee, to, as an example, this mass chief used to carry a broadsword on his back. This is not a modern weapon. <laughs> but I remember we take a knee, and then I think to myself, I was like, oh, this is how you decapitate somebody. Like, you get a knee, you can get a good swing. Like, I'm not even going to make it to the SEAL teams. I won't even see combat. It's going to happen right now. And he says, let me tell you something, gents. As officers, at a minimum, the boys are going to mimic your behavior, at a minimum. In our line of work, based on their personalities, they're probably gonna amplify your behavior. And athletes are the exact same way. So as leaders, as, as captains, as officers, if you keep your head, they'll keep their head. If you keep it together, they'll keep it together. And if you lose it, they'll lose it. He says, so I'm gonna share with you the best thing I learned as a Master Chief when I was a new guy from a Master Chief from Vietnam. Prepare to copy, and that means you gotta take notes. And this is all he said. Calm is contagious. Calm is contagious. He says, beat it, which means run away. And so as we're running away, I remember him saying, because if you keep your head in our line of work, you keep your head, which was a really good exclamation point to the calm is contagious moment. But the thing that's super cool about this line is you can supplant any word you want for calm. Chaos is contagious. Panic is contagious, stupid, 100% contagious. <laughs> so we like calm because it lets you keep your head. It lets you keep focused on the mission at hand. And it's something I remember from playing, you know, kind of big time level lacrosse is that, is that our top guys and our coaches, they kept it together, even when it was on the line. And so everybody had that presence, that ability to focus when it, when it came to the moment that required it.